In this video, I will show how to determine whether a given sequence is increasing, decreasing, or not monotonic. I'm going to show it uh, in two different ways. Uh, one way is, we can call it an algebra way. And what does it mean to show algebraically that the sequence increases or decreases? That means we want to establish the following inequality. Well, either uh, a n is less than the its successor or it's greater than for all values of n. So I don't know what inequality I'm going to have, so I'm just going to write it, keep writing it like this until I figure figure out the inequality. So uh, the nth term is 1 plus n over 2 plus n. The n plus 1 term is, I'm just going to replace n with n plus 1. Now, since everything well, n in particular is positive, we can multiply both sides by the product of the denominators here. So that means I can multiply both sides by n plus 2, n plus 3. So on the left side I will have n plus 3 times n plus 1, which is still not sure whether it's greater or less than 2 plus n, uh, 2 plus n. So I'm changing the order here, but again, the order here doesn't matter, so we have 3 plus n times 1 plus n. And now we can distribute everything on both sides. So we have 3 plus 4n plus n squared. Here we have 4 plus 4n plus n squared. Many things cancel. And 3 is clearly less than 4. If 3 is less than 4, that means... The inequality is this way. So a n is less than a n plus 1 for all values of n. That means the sequence is clearly increasing. Now, the calculus way means we're going to consider a function on which the given sequence resides. So we just want to use the formula for the sequence and define the function. And we're going to consider the derivative of this function. So the derivative of this function is the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus derivative of the denominator times the numerator. And we divide all that by denominator squared. So 2 minus 1 is 1, x minus x is just zero. So we have the following expression for the derivative of the function. Clearly, for the regardless of what x is, uh, and actually we know x has to be positive, and the only value of x that it can be here it's negative two, which is not in the domain of the function. So for all the values of x in the domain, this expression is positive. So when the derivative is always positive, that means f of x is always increasing. And if f of x is always increasing, the sequence which lives on f of x is also increasing. So we showed in two different ways that the given sequence is increasing.